adding and subtracting fractions. So for example, we can have 7 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9. This is very simple. Because the denominator is the same, we just add the top numbers as 8 out of 9. Or, if you have to have 7 divided by 9, take away 1 over 9. Again, because the bottom number is the same, so it's out of 9, 7 take away 1, which is 6. But this time we cancel it down, divide top and bottom by 2. So divide top and bottom by 3. So we got 2 on the top and 3 on the bottom. So this is a recurring decimal, 0.6666 and so on. Then the next level, we have 2 out of 5 plus 1 quarter. Because the bottom numbers are different, we have to make them the same. So 20, 20 here, because the least common multiple 4 or 5 is 20. So you time this by 4, so do the same thing on the top. Similarly here, we're timing by 5, do the same thing on the top. Now your bottom number is the same, so it's 20, 8 plus 5 on the top. Or you can do this number just by cross multiply 2 fifth plus 1 or 4. 4 times 2 plus 5 times 1 divided by 5 times 4. Now you may have some mixed numbers, 2 and 1 third, take away 1 and 4 fifth. So make them m proper fractions first, 3 times 2 plus 1, 5 times 1 plus 4. Now cross multiply, 7 times 5 minus 3 times 9 divided by 3 times 5. So that's 8 divided by 15. Now to complete these, 5 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 5, 1 quarter can be written as 2 out of 8, plus 3 over 8, and we've got the same denominator, 2 plus 3 is 5. Change top heavy fraction, 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2, 2 fifth, cross multiply, 5 times 5, minus 2 times 2, divided by 2 times 5, this can be written as 2 and 1 tenth. Seven over three minus three over seven. Seven times minus three times three divided by three times seven. Twenty one going to forty once. Remainder is nineteen. 
You divide by 20. Now try these questions yourself. When you've done them, then check the answers. The answers are here. Yeah. 